Yeah, it really is. This, this, this is though. this is a great time of year, and uh, we have had really a nice fall. But this week uh, been really really nice. Mike, getting ready. You ready for this Oregon team? It's loaded with weapons and it starts with, with Marcus. Uh, you guys play a lot of more with quarterbacks, but is he uh, probably? Oh gosh, he is. He is really, really a good player, and uh, he's got it all. You know, he can. He's a good athlete. He's poised. Uh, got a nice loose arm. Can throw all the balls. Uh, very impressive player. He's been banged up a little bit the past few weeks, and maybe hasn't been able able to run as much. How much does that change their offense when he's not able to do uh, do that with breaking? He it looks like he. To me, watching him, he's doing he's doing a lot. I don't see him not doing anything. So, uh, I think he's just a terrific player. Mike, I should probably know this, but back in the day, I know you you know a fan of Oregon State. Could you have gone here, or was it the lure playing for Bear Bryant that sort of sent you elsewhere? Uh, you know, I was either going to stay here and go to school, or go to Alabama, and one of the two. And uh, you know, it was either to stay here and play for Coach Andrews, and my my dad was on the staff, or go go. Uh, down to Alabama where my uncle, my, my whole, all our other relatives were. So when I got the chance to go down there, I I'd, uh, wasn't going to go anywhere else in the conference, that's for sure. But your heart, you still were a big part of this rivalry, even though you left still the Civil War. Oh, yeah, my dad's coaching in it. I watched it all through junior high and high school. So big, big part of our young life here. Mike, given the way things have gone of late with the losing streak, would you – not to psych yourself out about it, would, would this Civil War be bigger than a bowl game to you, in your opinion? Oh, it would be awesome. You know, I'd, I, I wouldn't, you know, we they're all one at a time games for us right now, and, and uh, but it would be, a, obviously, for many reasons, a great win for the Beavers. Coach, how, how, specifically, how huge would this be for the seniors, um, you know, given what happened Saturday and just get that win? I think for everybody, the seniors, uh, probably especially, you know, uh, you know what? Uh, they haven't beat the Ducks so well. And any, like I said, there's you could just go through reason by reason that this would be a great win. Mike, what would the value, and what is the value beyond Friday to keep playing with this group at this time and practices? And oh my goodness, it's really good. I'm, I'm uh, thankful to be bowl eligible. Uh, would like to get one better slot than we are in right now. If we could win the game, obviously it'd help us a lot. But it would. Uh, I love the bowl practices and the extra opportunity to keep playing with the team. How hard is it to, to forget what <coughs> happened and to be positive and move forward? Well, you know, I don't think you forget that right away. Uh, hopefully you can use it for either motivation or knowledge, both. And, and uh, that's what you always have to do anyway. That's part of the deal. Uh, it's, it's kind of uh, everybody else's job to talk about it. It's our job to go forward. How about a rival game in general, though, the fact that this is such a story rivalry? Do you approach it any differently to, to get motivated, or is there just no motivation needed? Well, there's lots of motivation uh, that are for, for this game, and, and I think our job as coaches is prepare as best we can what we're going to do on the field with the team and, and give them the tools to help them win the game. DeAnthony Thomas, Mike, um, pretty big weapon. Yeah. They, they've got lots of good players, and he is really a, you know, a marquee player in that offense. You know, he's uh, tremendously talented. He's, they can run him, uh, return him. They can uh, throw it to him, and he is, he's very good. I'm, I really uh, appreciate how t tough he is, too. I mean, he is a real football player. Do you have a favorite Autzen memory? Well, we won down there, you know, and I can remember the the fly sweep to James Rogers is one of my favorite odds and memories. Yeah. And and growing up, Mike, with the Civil War, you know, it's a big part of your life as you talk about when you were a kid going to those games. Is there one that stands out uh, for any particular reason? Not any uh, one game in particular. Just moments. I remember being at Autzen Stadium. Uh, Mel Easley's playing corner against Bobby Moore, a Madras shot, and. and uh, uh, Tom Blanchard, Steve Endicott, two grants past kids are quarterbacking there. And, and then uh, uh, I remember being in the, in the uh, last game in their old stadium. Uh, you, you know, our, uh, it was pretty special. You know, and Thurman Bell, make, who's been coaching out at Roseburg ever since then, just about, uh, make, made a uh, great interception in the 
Uh, there was a great picture of him in the next in the paper the next day. I, stuff like that. I remember those, those moments.